Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm glad you could join me. Um, tonight I'm after some help. There's um, a sighting on the map from Tredigo in Wales and it speaks of a man who contacted the police with an account that he had and it made it into the Wales online, um, into the newspaper there, into the Gazette. And it talks in the newspaper of a 10 second clip of a gorilla-like creature that's eating in the woods um, and over the years both myself and um, Warren Port and a couple of other people have tried everything we can to try and track this witness down um, I've even I've contacted the newspaper that it was in I contacted the journalist um, I contacted the local police force um, and unfortunately I never got anywhere and we never got any answers in it and it, we batted it about between ourselves for a while and I thought we were chatting the other day in the group and I thought well maybe one of the things I could do to see if we can further um, it along a little bit more was if I could put a video out and ask anybody out there if they know the witness um, if they've heard this story before they know anything more on it I do remember a while back finding an article and it said a couple of days after it appeared in the newspaper. It appeared in the newspaper on the 3rd of April 2008. So not April Fools, but the 3rd of April. Um, a couple of days after that, a local youth came forward and said that it was him um, and that he had the suit to prove it. But that never panned out. He never got back in touch or anything like that. He never showed the suit. Um, and I'm sure... There are cryptozoologists out there who know far more about this story than me. Um, and it is on the map. And so I'd like to, um, if I could, talk to the witness at some point or I'd give anything to see the 10-second clip of film because there's no link to it in the newspaper. But here's what it said in the newspaper. Um, a terrified Gazette reader captured these amazing snaps of a mysterious ape-like animal roaming a Tredega woodland. Gwyn Weeks, aged 63, of Page Street, Tredega, was embarking on one of his regular trips to walk his dog around the lake at St James Park when he spotted something strange lurking in the woods. Mr Weeks said he could see something moving through the trees on the other side of the lake. Mr, Steel, Mr. Weeks, a retired steel worker, said, It sent a shiver up my spine. My dog started barking and you could have knocked me down with a feather. Quick thinking, Mr Weeks immediately pulled out his mobile phone to capture the creature on film. He said, My eyesight is not so good now. So I zoomed in to have a look and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. At first, I thought it might be one of those panthers you hear about round here, but it was more like a bear. Well, it was quite ape-like, to be honest. It could have been a yeti. The unbelievable ten-second clip shows an animal resembling a gorilla, appearing to forage for food before briefly standing on two legs and disappearing into the trees quickly. Mr Weeks said he was glad he captured the footage as he feared no one would believe his amazing encounter. He said, I was out of my wits with fear. I jumped back into my car and was out of there in a flash. Some people I've shown the film to reckon it's a wind-up, but at the end of the day, I know what I saw. Tredega Crime and Disorder Reduction Officer Tony Davies said he was unsurprised by the reports and the police would be looking into the matter. Mr Davies said, PC Davies said, we take reports of Yetis quite seriously. The neighbourhood policing team will be up in their paroles and will do their best to persuade the Yeti to go elsewhere. It then goes on to say, turn to page nine for, you know, for more comments in the film. Unfortunately, as it's online, I can't turn to page nine. So if there's anybody out there, uh, PC Davis, if you're listening, you have no idea how hard some cryptozoologists in this country have tried getting in touch with you. Um, at one point, I was almost a stalker. I must have emailed um, the police force that many times, but we never got an email, we never got an answer back. So if you're out there and you know Mr Weeks or you know anybody that knows him or you were the person in the suit that day, um, well, that's presuming it was a person in the suit. So it sounds like Mr Weeks was um, certain it was something entirely different. Um, I find it strange that the police officer said he was unsurprised by the reports. Strange comments to make, I know. But yeah, if you're out there and you can help in any way with this account, please get in touch with me, either through YouTube or on Debbie Hatswell. 
at gmail.com. Um, and thank you for your time. Until next time, goodbye.